Ambulance response times for life-threatening calls in urban areas have gotten progressively worse over the past year, and now we see many of them are badly missing AHS targets. The slowest 10% of calls have gone from taking 12 minutes or more to 17 minutes of or more, and that's a response to what is characterized as life-threatening calls. For context, 12 minutes is the outside target that AHS sets for its slowest calls. And now what we're seeing is that these calls are being responded to 42% or more slower. These are the worst urban response times since AHS first started reporting them. And an additional five minute delay to reach a life-threatening call can have tragic consequences. Response times have also missed targets for two years running in communities outside of our metropolitan areas in po with populations that are larger than 3,000 people. All of these numbers are clear signs of an ambulance and a hospital and a healthcare system that is under incredible strain. And I hear from EMS and emergency room professionals every day and they tell me that they are worked to exhaustion. They are burned out and they are so frustrated with the incompetence and the indifference of this UCP government. The only reason I'm able to speak on behalf of these members is because I'm hearing directly from the street, from those who are on the front lines today. And they make it very clear the solutions that must be implemented immediately in this system. The first step is to ensure that our frontline workers that we currently have as our members stay. And to do that, get them off shift on time. Forced overtime after a 12 hour call after call is devastating to their physical and their mental health. And that's step one. Step two, we have hundreds of unfilled shifts every week in this province. And yet we use a just in time workforce with 40% of our paramedics in casual positions. Move these folks immediately into full time positions working for their shifts and no longer a just in time that we hope we can rely on. The third step, in this opioid crisis, we must reactivate all safe injection sites that are in this province and wrap around services to ensure that our communities have the supports they need to help our people who are their most vulnerable. The hospital delay is not a paramedic issue. This is a systemic hospital healthcare issue from entry to exit and everything in between, this healthcare system has been starved out for the last 20 years, and this is what it looks like. So this isn't a paramedic issue, this is a healthcare issue. And responsibility lies with the Minister of Health. 